Hello and welcome to Traditional Painting the Digital Way. This is where I use digital painting apps to teach traditional painting techniques. This is part three of my Inktober drawing, Cutie Boots in a Pumpkin. And in this video, we're going to continue inking and adding all the details. If you want to know what Inktober is and you want to know what traditional materials you should use to follow along, check out part one in this series. The app that I'm going to be using is ArtRage for Android. And I'm going to go ahead and start finishing out the hay that's behind the cat and the pumpkins. And right here I'm adding light strokes that uh, will represent the light straw in the hay. And for this you can use gouache or acrylic maybe if you're following along traditionally or a gel pen, something that will show up on the watercolor background here. And you can also use Posca pens or any kind of acrylic type of a, a pen as well, and it will show up. So that's what I'm doing is just adding in the light colors of the hay here. And we want probably a, a really light yellow color just to make it show up. and you can add some more brown colors in there and just go back and forth and and make real rough strokes here and just kind of angle them all different ways just like it's a bunch of straw sticking out of the the bale of hay in the picture there and you just kind of hunt and pick places to add more straw here add some along the edge so that it makes it look like it's really rough on the bale of hay there and just go ahead and finish that out and then here I'm adding some of the details to the jack-o-lanterns and I just wanted to kind of add a a little bit of a different look from your traditional jack-o-lantern and I found some photo references on Pixabay which has royalty free photos that you can use for photo references and I'm just using some of them for jack-o'-lantern ideas and I'm just sort of putting in the shapes right now and just kind of refining the the edges and I'm still be using watercolor and if you're following along traditionally you would probably use watercolor or gouache for this step and then I'm kind of just blending it in on ArtRage for Android and this is to just make it have a little bit more of a watercolor look and I'm refining the shape a little bit of the pumpkin and throwing in different colors of orange here just to kind of give it the the pumpkin like texture because pumpkins are not solid orange they have yellows in them and even sort of dark reddish colors and even browns so just remember to add all those onto your pumpkins and that's what I'm doing to the middle pumpkin, just trying to give it the shape of the pumpkin and the grooves that run along the side of the pumpkin here and adding in sort of a darker brown color on the bottom to, to give it the three-dimensional shape and make a little bit of a shadow there on the, on the ground. And then I'm smudging it in with the blenders and art rage and again that just helps give it sort of a watercolor look and a watercolor texture and just go ahead and hunt and pick places that you need to add highlights on the pumpkins and I'm adding a little bit of light yellow there just to kind of give it a, a highlight on the pumpkins and sort of working on the edges of the eyes on the jack-o-lantern just trying to refine the shapes a little bit there and I'm still using sort of a watercolor brush and so if you're following along traditionally and you need to correct shapes if you have to you can use gouache or you can use a little bit of acrylic just to to correct the shapes on your watercolor painting because it's hard to correct with just pure watercolor and so I'm just kind of making the 
white appear in one of the eyes of the jack-o'-lantern here and that that shows the dimension of the kitty inside the jack-o'-lantern and then I'm going to start doing some more inking here and I'm using kind of a brown color for the pumpkin and just working on the shape of it a little bit and the shape of the eyes and sort of the nose and the mouth and just kind of trying to refine the shape on the pumpkin and if you want to go ahead and add watercolor over this ink then you'll have to have a waterproof ink but if you've done all your watercolor first then you can go ahead and add any kind of ink and not worry about it smudging or running it just depends on what you want to do there and here I'm adding a little bit more of the the stem on top of the the pumpkin and adding more details to the one in the center here and just kind of refining the shape of it and refining the shape of the nose and the mouth and you just use any kind of a, a darker brown ink for this to give the details and then I'm sketching in lightly the the grooves that are on the pumpkin and just trying to get that three-dimensional rounded shape here and just keep doing that for all of the all of the pumpkins and I'm working on the opening there just widening it out a little bit kind of trying to add a little bit of shadow inside there and then the third pumpkin doing the same thing adding in the shapes on the outside adding the grooves on it drawing in the stem and we'll color that in later with green and then I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit with watercolor and again if you go back and add it with watercolor you have to be careful if your ink is not waterproof because it will run so you can add just a tiny bit there and not mess up your ink if it's not waterproof and then I'm working on the cat and I'm adding just a really rough pin strokes on the side and using a either a black or a really dark blue color for the cat's fur and I'm just kind of working on trying to refine his eyes and I messed up right there and if you mess up when you're doing this traditionally you can use gouache or watercolor to go back over it or maybe even put some white down and then put the watercolor back over it again or the gouache anyway I'm just working on the mouth and the nose here just trying to get the features correct and just kind of lightly sketching them in and the pen strokes that I'm putting down are pretty rough because I want to give sort of a, a fur texture here so we want the edges of his fur especially to look rough because we're trying to give a a fluffy look that he has and then I'm just kind of working on the ears and making some fur texture there working on the the pattern above his eyes and just kind of making light sketches in the white part of his fur and and just adding little lines there that g give it the fluffy look and you don't have to put a lot of lines in the white but just kind of give indications that there's fluffy fur right there and work on the edges of his head and just go over the paws again in the white just kind of make indications of fur we don't want real heavy pin marks there and on the edges just kind of make them rough <clears throat> here I'm working on the eyes again and he has a, a little bit of white under the eyes so I went back and added that on there you can do this with gouache if you're following along traditionally or you might be able to just do this with your watercolor you can kind of lift out of the dark paint that you have on there maybe and add a little bit of white with your watercolor because sometimes the watercolor whites are opaque enough and that's kind of what you want here because I went back and smudged it a little bit and 
wanted it to get more of a watercolor like texture there and then I'm just kind of working on his fur pattern again above his eyes just trying to get that look and the pattern that he has and making rough strokes there just trying to get the look of fur right there and also remember to save frequently because occasionally this program does crash and it actually did and I had to redo this whole segment over when I uh, crashed and it wasn't much fun but sometimes you have to do that if you don't save like you're supposed to which I should have saved but anyway so remember to save frequently and then here I'm just kind of working on his whiskers and the hairs that stick out of his ears. I'm using a white color there. You can use a white gel pen if you're following along traditionally or Posca pens. Just any kind of a paint type pen. And then I put in his whiskers. They're white. They're not going to show up real big, but they'll, they'll show up a little bit. So don't forget to put in the whiskers. And then I'm just kind of using a little bit of that white to go over his paws and all his fur on his chest here and just trying to get kind of that real fluffy texture that he has. And then here I decided that I wanted to fix the eyes a little bit and like I said if you're doing this traditionally probably use gouache or acrylic. It will it will go over it. It's not pure watercolor, but you know that's how you fix your mistakes is you can go ahead and use gouache or acrylic. And then I'm just kind of working on the shape of his nose again a little bit and trying to get the right color for it. And, and then I wanted to go ahead and do a little bit of the grass right here and try to get a little bit of the texture and I'm using a watercolor brush here and just trying to make real thin strokes and just kind of get the colors here and then I'll blend them together and then keep doing this. It's kind of a process on how to get the grass here. You have to do several different steps and I'm throwing in some yellow and using the gloop brush. The gloop brush sometimes gives some pretty good effects for grass and and things like that and then you can just kind of blend them together and that'll give you kind of the the background for the grass and later on I'll add ink for the the final details on the grass but we just kind of want some color right now and and get it to look kind of watercolorish again and add different colors of green for that so this is the end of part three of Cutie Boots in a Pumpkin. And in part four, we're going to go ahead and do the final inking and just finish up the picture. So thanks everybody for watching. Thank you so much for your support. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below. And I will catch you later.